Hey, what's up, Buttercups? It is Amy Lee. What's up? Uh, well, didn't videotape too much today. Little man wasn't feeling up to par, and honestly, I just felt a little lazy and just didn't videotape too much today. And now we got more rain. Just what we need. I heard some crack of thunder and lightning out here. It got very close, so I don't know what this weather's going to hold. Should be interesting to see if we get any more thunder boomers coming out. Gonna be fun. Our sidewalk's already flooded out. <laughs> well, I ain't going nowhere. Okay, so hopefully we'll hear some thunder in a second. That was like really loud. Oh, there she goes. Should be a nice, restful, peaceful evening. We'll have to see how that goes. Okay. Yeah, so. No, the lights haven't gone out just yet. It's just. I'm lucky it's dark enough to like turn the living room lights on. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, so. Amy was just being lazy today. Didn't do my hair, makeup, nothing. Didn't do anything. Just being very, very lazy. So. Alrighty. Good morning and what is up buttercups? It is Amy. And we have little man here. Say hi. Hi. What's your name? Yeah. Jared. Yeah. So we're waiting for the bus this morning. It is Tuesday morning. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a dreary day, but it's nice and cool out, let me tell you. I'm definitely loving this cool weather. Oh, your bus is here, buddy. Your bus. Good morning, peoples. Yeah, we had a very easy morning, and Jerry got off to school okay, and everything, or his program, rather. Um, yeah, so I'm heading out to work now, and gotta make that money. Uh, yeah, tomorrow I'm not gonna be working. Tomorrow's my big day. I am getting a procedure done tomorrow. Still need to find out what time the appointment is going to be because they have to schedule it around, I guess, their surgical time or whatever. Or I don't know. So, uh, yeah, so you'll know, say I'm a little nervous about it because it's just, it requires anesthesia. And, you know, anesthesia and I are not very good friends sometimes. We get a little sick on anesthesia sometimes and then we'll have some problems here and there. And, Last time I was under anesthesia, I was getting injections done in my back, in my lower back. And it took them like three hours to wake me up because they gave me too much anesthesia thinking I was a big girl, so I needed more. So, yeah, I don't know. But, yeah, hopefully we'll be good to go for tomorrow, so we'll see how the day goes that way. Um, I don't know if I'll actually document too much of it. I obviously won't be documenting the actual procedure. That would be pretty nasty. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so probably like the moments leading up to and then like after I'm done and everything. So we'll see what happens. So as of today, on Tuesday, we're going to just take it easy, go to work when I'm done. I got to pick his dad dad up and, uh, cause he's going to sit with him tomorrow in peace after program. Like, I don't know how long this procedure is going to take. So I wanted his father up here. So I was have somebody there for him in case when he comes home I'm not there yet or whatever so uh, we'll see you know, how that all works out uh, than that you know we'll see how the rest of the day goes and I'll see where it takes us hey what's going on all right so I just finished my little mini day here at work so what's really cool about this place I could take work home with me so, even though I'm going to get my procedure tomorrow, it's only going to be a couple hours. I'll be able to go home, and depending how I feel, I might end up just working from home tomorrow for a couple hours, which is nice. It's very, very nice. So, I like to be able to work at home. It's always a plus. So, yeah, so we'll see how the rest of the day goes. At this point, I'm probably going to stop the store and get a little bit of lunch meat, and some liverwurst for his father and I think from that point I gotta go home Jared will be getting in and we gotta go pick his dad up so 
yeah, day in the life, so much fun, let me tell you. Hey, good morning, what's up, Buttercup? Today is Amy, coming to you live from my local hospital. Today's a big day for the procedure, so just about to get ready, get myself together, and get changing pretty little outfit said to Amy. Okay, so I am officially a patient now. Look, right down to the socks. The funky socks. So, uh, yeah, I don't know how much of this I'm going to be able to film because I got people coming in and out of the room. People are going to think I'm nuts <laughs> filming all this. So, um, I'm going to try to get as much footage as possible, you know, and try to go throughout the day and we'll see what happens. Um, and that, hopefully talk to you later. I'm still waiting here in my beautiful, gorgeous hospital gear. We need to take back. Say hi, Carissa. Hi. <laughs> she is the one that decided to come with me to the hospital today. Well, hello, people. All right, so I survived. Everything is fine. They removed the two lumps that they needed to remove. And they are going to biopsy. And they really didn't have to do much other work than that. So I was very, very happy about that. So now I'm just, I'm all dressed back in my street clothes and getting ready to go home. So I think I might even take a little nap because actually I'm feeling pretty good from the SC. I'm not really groggy, but yeah, I want to make sure I'm ready for the boo-boo to get home. I was really expecting it to be long, but thank God it wasn't that long. So, yeah, so, like, like the procedure itself, I think, he said, took, like, 90 seconds. Why they did it? Six hours of prep time. I have no idea. But we'll just go with it, whatever. Everything went well. Everything went swimmingly. Everything is all good. And copacetic. So, I'll be, like, vlogging after I get dropped off. Hello. All right, yeah, so, I am home now. And, uh, sadly, I thought I was going to feel a little goofier coming out off an anesthesia. I thought that would have been pretty entertaining, but everything I'm is a little tired. That's about it. Um, so, I'm home. I'm safe. I'm sound. All is well and fine and good. Uh, procedure went well. Literally took 90 seconds for the procedure. They needed four hours of prep time. Why, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I'm going to... Have me a sandwich, a sandwich, and then uh, I might like videotape a little bit later. I don't know yet. I'm definitely taking a nap. I'm kind of right back down. I'm probably going to wait for little Boo Boo to get in first and make sure he's settled and everything. Because Frank decided to take a walk when I got home. Like, whatever. Okay. So, anyhow. All right. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how the rest of the day goes. Probably be sleeping a quarter way through because I'm very, very sleepy. So, uh, I'm going to do that and um, I'll catch it a bit. Hey, what's going on? It's Amy. Uh, yeah, so I'm taking the run to look a while while I got to get gas and I got to eat my smokes. I know. I shouldn't be smoking. I really don't care. And it was funny. After my procedure today, the nurse told me she's like, I know you're, she's like, I know. That you make me tell you you're to not smoke, you're gonna smoke anyway. And I just looked at her and she says, Just do me a favor, if you go home and smoke, she said, only do it if you're sitting if only if doing it if you're standing up or you're standing up outside. And I'm like, that's weird. Why would I do that? And she said, You would be surprised at how many of the people who come out from anesthesia end up burning themselves because they think they're awake and they really are not that awake and they fall asleep with the cigarette hanging out of their mouth and they end up burning themselves and I'm like oh my god I said I would have never thought of that but she was telling me about this one patient that did that and it was a female and she dropped the cigarette down in her cleavage and he, she said she had like second degree burns going down the whole line of her cleavage I'm like oh my gosh so yeah, I, anytime I've been smoking today, I've been going outside and making sure I'm, like, walking around. I mean, honestly, after I was done on the anesthesia, I surprisingly felt no ill effects from the anesthesia. Usually, I either get very sick to my stomach or I'm just really groggy and I just don't feel good and blah. 
but today, I mean, I still was a little tired, and I needed my nap afterwards, but surprisingly, it, like, I felt pretty good. I mean, I got a little bit of cramping, but other than, and that's it, you know, I've been doing pretty well with it, so I consider myself blessed, let me tell you. So, um, yeah, so right now I'm just going to do this, and Boo Boo is at home, he's in bed already, he wants to go to bed early, so he can enjoy his last day of his program tomorrow, and Dad is there, so I have a few minutes to myself, and I figure I'll, uh, go and get some gas and get my cigarettes, one less step of stuff I have to do in the morning, so, but other than that, so, I don't think there's really too much else that's going to be going on tonight. Uh, if I get a chance, I might try to do my video editing tonight. We'll see what happens with that. Um, other than that, moving on. Hey, what's going on, Buttercups? It's Amy. And, what's your name? Jared. Jared. Yeah, so we're slowly recovering. I have my nap for the day, and... Feeling a little bit better. I'm ready for another nap, actually. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Little man, did you have a good day today? You had fun? Were you a good boy today? Oh. Were you a good boy today? Oh. He was a very good boy today. He did well. He sat and, like, uh, hung out with Dad for a little bit, and he had his program today. Tomorrow's the last day of program, so... That's when the fun really begins. He's going to be home for the next three weeks with nothing. Ugh. That's going to suck. So, we got to figure out, you know, some alternatives. So, we'll see how that works out. But, um, yeah, so everything went well. And everything's calm, cool, and collected. And no big issues so far. And, yeah, so I'm going to go and take the rest of the night to relax. I just wanted to do a little outro and say hello and... Hope everything was good today. Everyone had a good day. So, uh, yeah, figured I'd just, like, give a little bit of my journey for my my problems. Mr. Man was doing good today, so it was time to focus on me today for a change. So, uh, got what I need to get done, so now life will go on. So, other than that, I hope you all have a good night. Like, subscribe, share, favorite, all that great stuff, and I hope to see you tomorrow.